Good day, good day! How the fuck are ya? This is your friend Dan O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today? All right, all right, all right, what up, Wednesday? <laughs> welcome, welcome, here we go. Uh, so this is the one and only uh, Range Rover Classic from Hot Wheels, yes, and uh, the uh, GRX 34. Yep, we have seen this, we have done this, we have talked about this before, but I got something special for you. So let's just do a little recap. So this is the first one that came out in 2021, uh, very, very sharp. Uh, this is uh, what they call the uh, Terrain Challenge 81 with the Castrol on the hood. This is a very unique and special uh, Hot Wheels, I think. Um, one is this, uh, this is a dollar car or, you know, dollar 19, you know, 94 cents, depending on where you uh, shop, but the regular Walmarts uh, are selling it for a dollar car. So this is a mainline car. And the uh, interesting thing is, is that it has side tampos, which are terrific and on both sides. It has rear tampos, which the uh, license plate is RR Classic, the Range Rover Classic. Details for the taillights, uh, rear, rear Range Rover on that rear uh, deck lid. And then it has front decos on the hood, a big old um non-reflective hood uh decal on the front with the big castor right on the nose so this is really really awesome it's got some uh pretty wild wheels and uh wheel arches yes they're not uh, kind of stock this is more of a uh, rally um version of the two-door range rover uh so that one came out first and then we just got this one here uh, in uh, early 2022, an exclusive, uh, I guess a GameStop, but they are finding them at different grocery stores, like, uh, uh, what is it, uh, a Kroger, some of the Kroger stores are getting it. Uh, red interior versus the black on black, uh, the same uh, deal. White wheels instead of the gray ones, uh, but the same tampo, but in blue versus black. Uh, very, very nice. The nice blue on the hood, which is really a nice go a color combo with the white. And uh, just a real cool car. Really a lot of details in the uh, tampo area. The tampos are very, 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 very well done. And uh, just, just very, very nice. I, I really... Uh, uh, I really think they, they pulled out a plug uh, and uh, really did a great job. So why is this a one of Wednesday? Well, let me tell you something, guys. Uh, ba bam Check it out. We got a Zamax. Yes, sir. -y. Look at this gem here. Uh, your friend Dano, we uh, drilled one of these out and we took a look at it. It was the red one, obviously. I don't think I could ever uh, come to drill one of these out because they're exclusives, you know, uh, but just a nice, nice looking Range Rover. So anyway, so I drilled one out. We took a look at the interior and we're going to do that again. But um, just, I was, I, I did have, uh, let's see, these here, uh, let me show you. I did have these real riders on this, the red one which was uh, pretty sharp, pretty cool. Uh, but for this, I thought, man, that gray wheels with our Zamax really look cool, really look cool. So I put this uh, this casting in a salsa jar full of uh, paint stripper, citrus paint stripper, and uh, yeah, let's take a look at it. Now, one of the interesting things that I want you to see and, you know, that... Hot Wheels really depends on their paint job. And we're looking at this, this uh, rear window that is closed in. And look at how nice and smooth that is. It's just 
really, really nice. And, and uh, you, you can't really see any flaws. Now there's a little, little bit of one, maybe two little spots here that you can see pitting. Uh, but otherwise, Hot Wheels really depends on their paint to cover a lot of flaws. I'm gonna see if I can zoom in here so we can see a lot better some of the uh, uh, Zamax, that's the uh, metal that they make these cars out of. And you can see that the horrendous pitting on uh, the side of the clam hood there, just crazy, crazy uh, pitting there. And then we're gonna slide back to the back there and look at the roof line just it, it's just i mean if this was an american car made out of steel this would be a rust bucket you know it just uh just would just yeah and and it's all over man it's all over look at how much uh of that casting are is just uh it's pitted i guess and it has to do with just uh you know the when they go and um cast this that that metal just isn't forming uh you know i don't know if they don't have the zinc uh the the zamac the zinc aluminum magnesium uh and, and, and copper or whatever all mixed in so it flows in and is you know i'm, I'm not a metal urgent metalist urgent i don't know what you call it. but anyway uh, yeah, so you can see a lot of these flaws in in the casting that is covered up by a tremendous paint job, you know, it, and then the decals too cover up too, you know, some of that pitting and stuff like that. But look at, I mean, it's just, it's just unbelievable. I mean, we're taking a small sample here, you know, three cars, and uh, this is just one that I picked out. But let's take a look at it again. We're gonna, you know, I don't remember, you know, I get hit on the head a lot, but there's the glass piece. It's got the sun, the, the little sunroof, open windows on the, on the, on the doors. But did, did we remember what the interior looked like? Look at that, it's got a spare tire in it and a roll cage in it with two racing seats. Look at the belts there. That's a five-point seat belt. It is a, it is a, a right hooker, uh, and I uh, got the gear shifter there, but really a stripped-down model, and uh, really kind of cool. The base is pretty basic there. You know, it's kind of your, your basic uh, three prongs uh, in the center that hold the wheels on. Nothing spectacular there, but it is nice that they have those fog lights, those running lights, the... KC Hella lights up on front there with the skid plate. Really kind of cool. No real details here. They do have the pumpkins wrong. I, I did uh, not notice that per se before, but all Land Rovers have offset pumpkins to the one side. Now, I am not an expert. I, I want to say it goes to this side here, um, to the driver's side on, on a uh, right-hand drive. Um, and then that's way that way you can um, articulate and go over um, uh, obstacles with uh, with your truck. So you you know if there's a big rock or something, you know that you can uh, go ahead and uh, you know put that rock in between you know the the pumpkin that's there and the tire, and you can straddle that. And, but it, but yes, the correct. Uh, Land Rover has them offset to one side. They're not uh, either or or left or right. They're all. So yeah, I had to take another look at that. I, I had this apart and I'm, and I'm like, did I know that? Did I know that that was such a cool interior? Uh, you know, and then that, you know, that just begs the different that I want to take a look at this red one and uh, you can kind of see, oh wow, that is awesome. Yeah, it just pops. So anyway, so uh, that that there is uh, what it looks like, you know, without the skin on it. And let's just take a look. I'm gonna just take a look. 
Wow, there has got the detail. So with this uh, double-edged curse, it, with the pitting and everything, you also have things that you find out that are there, like the exposed uh, hinges on the doors are there, just like the real Land Rover. You can kind of see it on the, uh, the ones that are painted, but it's not really pronounced. They also have a button here on both sides for the door. There's a button there for the, um, uh, the key to go in there. And some very nice detailing for that gas cap. Uh, it actually has um, the grab part to the, the gas cap. It's not just a blob. It actually, uh, can you see that? You see what I'm saying? It has the handle on the cap, I guess is the best way to say that. And then also here on the back, uh, you know, it's got the little bumps for the lights that would be, you know, on the civilian lights. So you can see the, the license plate lights. And that that, that um, Land Rover badge is actually an oval uh, in in the casting, it's not just printed on there. So, really kind of cool. Let's take a look on the inside. Uh, the interesting, the three. I'm not really sure what the three means, but um, once again, the GRX 34. That is um, that is what it is. GRX 34. So that base uh, goes with this car. You know. And then it has dash 3119. But uh, once again, take a look uh, at, you know, the interior of this uh, Zamax. Uh, now, I did, I did uh, like I say, I soaked this bugger because our paint strippers are, are so um, mild now. And uh, user kind and environmentally um, kind that it it's, takes a lot of, a lot to uh, get the paint off. Uh, they don't. They don't strip like they used to. Oh, that's what she said. Anyway, well, there you go. Let's put this back together. Uh, wow, what when time flies when you're having so much fun. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. One of uh, Wednesday. Now I I hear that this is going to be a Zamax coming out eventually. Uh, we just had the D90. Uh, from uh, the Defender 90 come out from Hot Wheels. It's a Zamax. We did a video of that. Maybe I can share that later. But um, there you go. What up Wednesday from your friend Dano. Thank you for joining me. I'm out of here. And remember, slow traffic keep right and have a great rover day.